If you are a Muslim woman and looking to understand what's one of the biggest roadblock to build healthy habits in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how you can quickly become aware of this roadblock so you can stop it whenever it comes in your mind. In fact, I'm going to tell you about this myth that lots of industries keep brainwashing us with and which is one of the many mindset strategies I teach in the Empowered Muslim Method. And I'm going to leave some details below. So if you want to have more information about this one, you have likely tried, you know, to build tons of healthy habits in your life and how many were successfully implemented, you know, and brought you the result that you wanted. The problem is that building habits is more a science than relying on your willpower or motivation. Behavioral scientists have studied this field for decades and they have figured it out what works and what doesn't work and when it comes to building habits to help us change our lives for the better. So let's take advantage of that. How many times as women we tell ourselves, well, I'm just, you know, going to eat, you know, this cake now or like this pizza and this pasta and this ice cream. And on Monday, I will be on the diet and I will stop eating those. I'm sure that you're like me, you told that so many times. So here's something to think about. What if you can build your healthy habits and still indulge in what you love? Because let's face it, if your job is not being a model, you don't need the extra stress, disappointment of living a life with constant restrictions, binge eating and body shaming. Well, I have been there and done that and you can get out of that toxic cycle and finally have a more healthy habit, you know, than negative ones. So a bit about myself, I'm Fatima K. I am a human potential coach and I work with Muslim women to get them to transform a dream or a yearning they have about themselves and to close the gap, you know, to achieving that and to understand their true potential in the process. Personally, I spent the last two years working on building healthy habits around food and fitness to stop binge eating and reaching my healthy goals. I kept failing at it, you know, for so many years. I have been in and out of diets, um, was consistent with my workouts for a few months, then did nothing for a whole month. I mean, it, I was so frustrated with that until I said enough. Why some people clearly felt better and transformed, you know, their lives. And I couldn't even drop a few kilos. You know, I couldn't even be consistent. Fast forward two years later, um, five years ago, I basically stopped binge eating and I have a consistent workout plan that I do based on proper data about my energy levels. And I wanted to do as exercises. So to finally build healthy habits and, re and replace negative ones, to have a long lasting change in your life. And who doesn't want that? Well, do you want that? Reply yes in the comments somewhere. The number one thing to do is what happens between your two ears in your head, right? I want you to ditch the go big or go home mentality. And some example of, you know, these uh, mindset are thoughts like on Monday, I will start to eat healthy uh, and I will lose 10 kilos in two months. Or in general, I will start this and end this and have so many resolutions. I have a big secret for you. No, the angels will not calm down and, you know, sing a song to you. You'll not see the light and you'll not be a complete transform person overnight. Actually, you will be the same person, you know, with the same habits. When you wake up on the Monday or when you wake up on the first of the month, if you haven't changed anything. So here you have it. Change starts in your mind by stopping to believe in myths such as the go big or go home mentality when it comes to building healthy habits.